What's good, y'all? My name is Josh Hatek, and in this video, I'm talking about how I rebuilt my portfolio using React.js, TypeScript, Tailwind CSS, and Next.js. So let's get straight into it. All right, so I'm gonna get into a little backstory before I get into more details on my portfolio. And so essentially, I've been wanting to make a new portfolio since this year started. And the reason was because my old portfolio was just HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, just very basic. I built it a couple years ago, and I know that it was time to upgrade it. So that's what I wanted to do. Now this new portfolio that I rebuilt, I didn't include all my projects yet and it's not completely done all the way. However, I believe that it's good enough to display right now because I've done enough of fixing most of the bugs that I have, and I feel like it's a good enough time now to display it, show it off, just to show my growth as a developer now using more modern frameworks. All right, so now that we're done with the little backstory, now let's get into the details. All right, so for my setup, what I used was React.js, TypeScript, Tailwind. I use a little motion framer as well as Re React Awesome Reveal. And I deployed it with Vercel. My installation was with Next.js and I just did an MPX create next app at the latest in TypeScript. Like just simple, just wrote that in and it started setting me up. I used 19.5 for my node version and I just set it up, like just did the main process with Next.js and then I got everything running. I made sure it was with the Re React as well as TypeScript. And then I just started to literally now write some documentation. So I'm gonna show you all the documentation in which I put just to get like a little summary of what's going on. All right, and from there, what I did, what I started to build out the portfolio again. So the sections that I had was the hero and then I had the about page, and then I had the YouTube page. And then from there, I had the experience, skills, projects, and then the contact. So that was all my sections, and it went very, very well with the to them. And I just started laying them off one by one. So the first thing I knocked out was the hero. I did the nav as well. And then I went down to the about page, and I just started making my about page. I wanted to make sure I had two images at least of myself with regards to my portfolio. Um, and I took some professional photography shots. Um, so I wanted to make sure I included those. So I added that, just a nice little background uh, for my about page. Um, and then from there, I have my YouTube section. I just used the iframe and then Tailwind CSS to style it. And with that, it was kind of tricky to make it responsive using the iframe, but I did the best that I could with regards to using it. And I know I'm gonna come back to it to improve it a little bit more to make it look more stand out, like it having a nice little pop to it. Um, but from there, then I go straight into my experience. My experience, I just wanna make sure I highlighted a couple of the technologies that I use at those jobs that I'm at, the current job and the previous job that I was at, as well as a description of what I did, like a couple bullets. Um, how long I've been there, as well as the title of those places. Then the next thing after that was my skills. In my skills section is just technologies that I'm familiar with, that I use, and that I'm good enough to get interviewed on and be ready for. And for the section for projects, I'm still working on this one because I only have one project up. So it's literally just a landing page that I did uh, for Mexico City. So I just really write a description about it, have a link to it, and then bam, it's just as simple as it gets. So that's pretty much it for the projects. After my projects, I go straight to my contact. My contact is just the contact information. That one's pretty simple. And yeah, that's pretty much it, man. So I really hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm going to go in more detail in the future and show more code of how I did certain things. But this is just a little overview of things that I'm working on and rebuilding my portfolio was really fun. So really hope you all enjoyed it and I'll see you all in the next video.